Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our developing microservices with ASP.NET Core 6.0 with minimal API. And in this video we'll be talking about the Swagger support. So the goal of this particular video is to add a Swagger support using the Open API within our microservice that we have been developing all these days. So this is the only simple thing that we'll be doing. But there are some caveat on using this particular Swagger support within our dotnet 6.0 the reason being the dotnet 6.0 should be super latest in the preview edition i will really tell you what i really mean so as you can see i was using the version of the preview earlier it was actually of version 5 uh, 6.0 preview dot 5.21302.13 this version doesn't really have one of the extension method that we should be using within our swagger generation which is nothing but the add endpoint api explorer so if you update the latest and the greatest version of the preview version in the dotnet 6.0 then you will get that particular extension method so that is one of the most important major requirement that you need to have while using this particular open api spec or the swagger generation within your code so please update your dotnet 6.0 preview version to this particular version so that you will have this particular extension method which is nothing but the add endpoints api explorer if not you will get this error all right so that's the only word of caution but other than that we are going to be just starting to write the swagger support within our code in order to start working the swagger support within our code or the existing code that we have got we are just going to go to the manage nuget package over here and then we're going to search for what is called as the swashbuckle or dot asp.net core so if you just search that you will get this one very very famous uh, there is a Swagger tool for documenting the APIs built in the ASP.NET Core. So I'm just going to install that within our project. And once it is there, we are ready to rock and roll within our code. So the idea of adding the Swagger support within the code is much, much similar if you have already used the ASP.NET Web API with a normal .NET Core project. So there is no change on that. So all we need to do is we're just going to call the builder.service uh, and I'm going to call the add endpoint API explorer. So this is the method which I was talking about. This is an extension method which will be only available if you update your .NET 6.0 to the latest preview edition. And then we need to call the builder.service of what is called as the add swagger gen. So this is another method that we need to call. This is going to be the services that we need to add. And once we have these two services, we then need to call what is called as the use swagger UI within the app. So I'm just going to call the use swagger UI. That's it. Once we add this particular use swagger UI, we are pretty good to go. But before even run this code, we also need to ensure that we actually call what is called as the use swagger along with the serializer as v2, something like that. So we're just going to call the um, use swagger. And over here, I'm going to say x says that x dot serialize as v2 is equal to true. So this flag will set you to run the serialized version as v2 uh, so that you can see how the API is going to show up. I'm going to run the code and I will show you how the swagger is going to come up over here in the documentation phase. So you can see that we don't really have anything at the moment. And this is the only line of code change that we have made. So let's try accessing the swagger.index.html file. And you can see that, bingo, we get this particular version coming up, which is version 1.0 for the mini demo. And we get this particular nice little Swagger API uh, from SmartBeer. So now if I just do a tryout, for example, if I just hit two, and if I do an execute, you should see an employee uh, coming up, which is gonna be this one, to Jacob from Australia. Uh, and if I wanted to do like a put employee, I can do that. Let's say if I want to do the get employees, if I do a tryout and execute, you can see that all the employees comes in, which is exactly the same thing that we have been seeing in the postman all these days, right? So that's what we are seeing over here, which is all cool. And we can also see the employees, something like that. So remember, if you're going to use the Swagger documentation within the 
ASP.NET Core minimal API, then you need to be in the latest version of the .NET 6.0 preview version. And also you need to add just this four lines of code to make this happen like what you're seeing at the moment. That's it guys, once again, thank you very much for watching this video. And hopefully our microservice development is coming to an end before we start using the Docker support.